you ever poured a glass of water and wondered if the water is safe and where it came from? I know it came from the faucet, right? Well, if you're like most people, your water got to your faucet from a water treatment system in your town or from a groundwater well. Before water ever gets to you, it has to be extracted, maybe treated, and transported to you in your glass. Over 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Some people call the Earth the water planet. Unfortunately, most of it is too salty to drink. Of all the water on Earth, only 2.5% is fresh water. And of that, only about 1% is accessible to us. The rest is frozen in glaciers and ice caps or trapped underground. This 1% is all the water that we have available to us to meet all of our needs. And we use a lot of it. In the United States, for things like bathing and washing the dishes, we use about 80 to 100 gallons of water per person per day just from our taps. But we use water in other ways too. We use it to grow food and produce livestock, to make the energy that runs our lives, and to make all of our consumer goods like cell phones and blue jeans. On average, people in the U.S. use almost 600 gallons per day just on consumer goods. We use even more for food, especially for meat and animal products. We rely on water to run our lives, but not everyone has all the water they need. There are water shortages all around the world. Shortages come from droughts, weather patterns that change where and when precipitation falls, and overuse, mismanagement, and pollution that leaves water unusable. According to the United Nations, by the year 2025, 1.8 billion people will live with water scarcity globally. There are steps we can all take now to ensure that everyone has access to sufficient supplies of clean, safe water. We can properly manage water. We can practice conservation and efficiency. And we can control pollution. But maybe you're wondering, what can I do personally? Water protection takes many forms, and there are lots of jobs that make a real difference, including treatment plant operators, plumbers, watershed managers, chemists, biologists, engineers, policy analysts, legislators, lawyers, planners, writers, communications professionals. The list is long. The time has never been better to work in water resources. If you're a recent high school graduate, consider studying water resources in college. Or if you're an undergraduate looking for employment, you might be surprised at how well your degree can be applied to water protection. In the meantime, you can find out more about your own water use at watercalculator.org.